if you're like me, you may have multiple connections in the remote systems view. Maybe you don't. Maybe you only have one connection. But it's also possible that even within one connection, you may have multiple filters, many filters in fact, or maybe your library list has a lot of different libraries. Maybe you have expanded one of the libraries in your libra library list and you have a lot of different objects in there. Maybe you're using the IFS and you have a lot of folders that are visible right now. In any case, the point is that this remote systems view over here can quickly become cluttered and it gets more difficult to navigate with, within it if you want to move things up and down. Fortunately, we have this wonderful little view down here called Remote Scratch Pad that many people I speak to don't really know what it's all about, what its purpose is. Let me show you how this works. Just to make this simple, I'm going to drag my Remote Scratch Pad and put it over here just so we have a larger view of it. Now, the way this works is I can drag objects from the remote systems view onto my remote scratch pad. So watch this. Let's say, for example, I have this library called Encrypt on my library list. I can take this library right here and just drag it right to my remote scratch pad. It still remains over here. It doesn't delete it. it just, just It's a mirror image. And I can, of course, expand it over here. I can close it. But it doesn't end there. Let's say, for example, I want to take this particular filter. Let's say I'll be using these three or four members that are in that filter. Well, I can drag that to my remote scratch pad. Or let's say I want to just take a particular source member. I can put that at my remote scratch pad. In this case I'm here, I have a, a filter to my IFS into a folder called CodeCov. I can drag that to the, to the remote scratch pad. So very quickly, I now have four very distinct, very separate objects. But let's say in my RDI session for today of development, I needed just to use these four, these four objects. I've effectively um, have eliminated the need to, up and, to go up and down on this list over here. And especially if I have a lot of connections, it, it can become very cumbersome very quickly. All of these are completely functional. I can expand that and see them right over here. Now it's very important to know that this is just a copy. These are a copy of what's over here. But it is fully operational. So if I were to right click on this and if I were to say delete, it will in fact delete that member. That's not what I want to do in this case. There are different options on the bottom over here. Look, remote, uh, remove selection from view. Here, here it is. Remote selected from view. If I do that, it just goes away from over here. It doesn't delete it, physically delete it. It just removes it from this view over here. I can also just click on it over here and click on this X over here and that will remove it from the view as well. And finally, of course, if I want to completely flush out the list over here, I can just click on that over here, the double X, and they go away. Important to remember again, it doesn't actually delete the objects, it just removes them from the view. Now even if you don't do that, when you shut down RDI and you bring it back up again, because it's a scratch pad, the scratch pad will be refreshed automatically. It will contain nothing, it will be empty. Every time you reboot RDI, it will be empty. So this little tip is a uh, nice little way to show you how to subset the remote systems view and it's one that doesn't it, it doesn't get any real attention but it certainly should it's really a big big time saver and that's something that you're always trying to do when you're doing application development